Hi everyone, I'm Mingfu, and this is the presentation for e-commerce case study. This talk is about the insane race in the mobile payment marketplace. It will be very informative and useful, so don't go anywhere. Overall, the online payment market in the USA is growing at more than 12 percent a year, and in 2014, it's already worth about 470 million dollars. Then we have mobile commerce with an impressive growth rate of over 30 percentage a year. Last but not least, there is a rapidly growing segment of contactless payment, which is projected to reach up to $58 billion by 2018. With that much potential, how large the revenue can be? Well, large enough to drive tech and retail giants crazy. PayPal, Google, Apple, Walmart, Best Buy, Target, and Square are all jumping on the bandwagon. Sadly, there has been no major success since the customers were preferred credit card and even cash. Now we're going to find out about some of the biggest online payment systems. The first one is Apple Pay. It adopts near-field communications, which is a set of short-range wireless technologies, NFC, used to share information among devices. Apple may have some head start. Since this iTunes store has a massive collection of credit cards up to 800 million users. What is more, it is not simply an app a feature of the smartphone, it's an ecosystem within an ecosystem. What does that mean by being an ecosystem within an ecosystem? It means shaking hands with key players in the payment ecosystem. Credit giants like Visa or MasterCard large bank credit card issuers like Citigroup or Bank America, national merchants like Staples and Walgreens are also on the list. Now security and privacy are the central issues of the payment system. So Apple Pay fits a lot of attention to this matter. It charges credit card issuer bank a 0.15 percentage fee in a return for authenticity of transactions. This is a very small charge. But at the end of the day, it's not where the real revenue comes from. In fact, Apple Pay contributes to the sales of Apple products and the iTunes ecosystem. However, Apple Pay has a few drawbacks. The number one weakness is that it only works on latest Apple device. In addition, merchants have to buy NFC-enabled point-of-sale terminals, and customers need. The last problem is merchants will lose some of their control over point-of-sale payment. For example, they could have been offering coupons and loyalty points. Let's move to another popular name in the field, PayPal. So far, PayPal is the most successful and profitable mobile payment system and it does not use NFC. First, they sell to merchants a device that allows them to sweep credit cards using a smartphone or tablet. The second approach, also the most commonly used, is when customers use their mobile device browser to make a purchase or payment at a website. And the last method is PayPal's updated app for iOS and Android device. The next system I'm going to discuss is Google Wallet. Google Wallet is an online NFC-based payment system that uses an Android app and is enabled by a prepaid MasterCard. Google Wallet is free to credit card companies and merchants. Plus, it doesn't make money by taking a slight transaction either. So the only source of profits is through granting rights to displace us, coupons, and data deals. Unfortunately, it's not a popular choice among customers and merchants. To grab on things off, the mobile payment price is growing bigger and bigger because huge potential. But too many places on the field can end up leaving customers a little bit confused. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end.